everyone, welcome back to Low Luxury, the channel where I show you what authentic luxury clothing and street wear looks like. Today, we are gonna be taking a look at a real rude t-shirt, so let's get right into it. Oh, and hey, before I forget, subscribe to my channel. If you're into this video, you'll probably be into a bunch of my other ones, so get into it. First, let's take a look at the retail tags. So first we've got a thick matte black piece of cardstock. You can see how thick it is there. And on the front there's nothing until you get to the bottom and then you've got in all caps printed in white, sort of a whitish gray. You've got rude. Take a look at that font and the spacing between each letter. On the back of that you may have a retailer sticker, but other than that all that's there is that website www.rh dash ude.com make sure it's got that dash in there and then you've got a clear piece of plastic here and on one side in white it's rood is carefully hand treated with natural materials to achieve the intended result all garments will vary and may change in color over time as part of the design a lot of luxury shirts have this because they use kind of special treatments for their stuff on the back there's nothing but you can see the back side of that text coming through and these are held together with a glossy sort of coarse black string and they are pinned in with a sort of black light bulb safety pin up in the top right corner of the brand tag there. Now let's take a look at that brand tag. So you can see it is a white embroidered tag and it's got rude embroidered in there in black, same font and spacing as everything else we've seen so far. And that is stitched in with a vertical white stitch in the top right and top left corners. And those fold over there and on the back you can see the back of that embroidery with white on black. Now let's look at the fabric tag. It is stitched in with a clean black stitch, same as the t-shirt, from the back there. And it is a very glossy, sort of glittery black tag. It is a loop tag. And in white print you've got the size centered there, small and then rood at the bottom. And then on the back, made in USA, 100% cotton, washing instructions, and washing symbols. So a really, really simple fabric tag here. And interestingly, circle stitched in there, it looks like they're the remnants of another tag, perhaps a size tag, but they have this size there. So I'm not sure what that could be from, honestly. This is a brand new shirt. So um, yeah, I can't really say what that's for, but it is interesting. And now if we take a look at the print here, of course it does go under the pocket in this design, but you can see it is a rough print, and that is probably the treatment that they were talking about on the, the retail tag there. But you can see it is a textured, rough red print. You can kind of see the texture coming through with a bit of almost black or something in there. And another interesting thing about the shirt is the stitching on the back of the neck. So you can see right here, here are the um, outside of those stitches from the tag, the white coming through. And then you can see you've got these diagonal strips coming out of there from the left and the right, and they stop right about there. And the last thing I'll say refers to the fit. It is a somewhat boxy fit with the pit to pit measurement coming in at just about 20 and a half or 21 inches, which is a bit wider than you'd normally expect of a size small. So that is how you tell the difference between a real and a fake rude t-shirt. Take a look at one of these other videos that's up on screen. Subscribe if you like it. Like this video, that's super helpful to me, and I will see you next time.